Welcome to my channel WinChem. Today we are going to see PGTRB Chemistry Group Theory Exam Tricks. This is a part 1. Another part 2 is also there. That is very easy trick. Within a few seconds you can solve it. Okay. In the part 2. Okay. This is a basic as well as many ideas and many tricks are included in this. Don't write your exam without watching this video. This is 100% useful for your exam. Don't miss it. Uh, keep watching until the end. Okay. Point groups. Point groups we can segregate it as a three type. Type 1, 2, 3. Type 1 is low symmetry. Type 2 is intermediate. Type 3 is high symmetry. Low symmetry, high symmetry. In between is intermediate. This low symmetry C1, S, C, I and N. And high symmetry uh, is intermediate symmetry C, N, V, C, N, H, D, N, D, N, D, D, N, H. And high symmetry is C, infinity V, D, infinity H, tetrahedral, octahedral and icosahedral. Okay. In this, four, this three, See, this is having a except this one that is center of inversion is there in this. CI means center of inversion. Okay. I is center of inversion. <coughs> except that all three is having a permanent dipole moment. Okay. All three is having a permanent dipole moment. And in the case of these, it is having a zero dipole moment. Is a very important point you should know that's why I'm writing over here itself. Zero dipole moment. And, um, and some of the basic uh, points I am going to explain you over here. Uh, what is the C? What is D? What is 3? What is V, D and H? Okay. The C is the axial rotation. Okay. Wherever you are doing axial rotation for that we will indicate the letter C. And for D... Not only the axial rotation, that is the principal axial rotation as well as at right angles, one of the C2 axis also there. That is n number of C2 axial rotation will be there. If it is there, then that we call, that we indicate as a D. Okay, see here, D indicates n fold principal rotation axis. That is principal rotation axis plus n two fold axis. Two fold axis means C2, C2 axis. Okay, C2 axis. At right angles, C2 axis also will be there. If these two are there, then that is D. <coughs> I already said two-fold means that is C2. Three-fold means that is C3. I will explain here very clearly that. Okay. How we have to confirm, come to know that is uh, two-fold, three-fold and all. If N, we can say it as 1, 2, 3, etc. If 360 degree divided by 2 means it comes around 180. So, this two we uh, can say it as a C2, that is C2 rotation axis, that is axial rotation is C2. If 360 degree divided by 3 means, then it is 120, that is that is C3 axial rotation. Okay, in this way we can keep on going. If it is 4 means, that is 90 degree, that is C4 axis, as C4. That's why I have mentioned this number. This V is, V is the vertical plane okay the v is the vertical plane and h is the horizontal plane horizontal plane of symmetry vertical plane of symmetry and d is the dihedral plane of symmetry you know very well about the vertical plane and the horizontal plane vertical plane should be like this and the horizontal plane should be like this and dihedral plane is whatever the principal axis is there parallel to the principal axis if one other plane of symmetry is there means that is a dihedral plane of symmetry okay and let's move on Low symmetrical molecules. What and all these two are these are these are all the four low symmetrical molecules. I'll show you some of the examples. This is the C1. In this C1, one thing I will write to write over here. In this C1, if you rotate this C1 in 360 degree, you will get the same symmetry of the molecule. Same molecule you will get it. That's why this molecule is example for the C1. Only one symmetry operation is possible. That is only identity all the uh, molecules having identity operations okay identity operation will be there but in c1 only identity is there no other operations <clears throat> and the next these are all for examples of the cs uh, cs uh, uh, molecules okay cs symmetry cs symmetry means this s symmetry is like a um, horizontal symmetry okay it's like a horizontal symmetry and the horizontal symmetry is there means then it's a cs symmetry and ci already i said ci is the center of inversion if center of inversion means 
at the center if you move front as well as at the back if you having the same element on both the sides what will happen then this compound is the center of inversion then this compound is having isometry <coughs> okay so this compound is having e as well as i symmetry operations okay if you take any other compound if, if you take a center if you move forward as well as a backward okay if you get the same element on both the sides then this is a center of inversion is there <clears throat> two operation is possible one is e and i and here i already said e and sigma h that is horizontal plane of symmetry sigma h is horizontal plane of symmetry and the fourth one is c n n is the n fold axial symmetry here the two that is here 180 degree rotation 180 degree rotation it gives c2 axial uh, rotation c2 acceleration it gives the same not only c2 c3 c4 all these comes under cn only cn which is equal to everything c2 c3 c4 c5 etc that is that, that we call it as a cn only and the next one intermediate symmetry molecules in that intermediate symmetry here two i am going to explain over here okay <coughs> cnv and cnh what are all the symmetry operations which are going to which are going to included in the cnv okay which what is there in the operation cn and n number of uh, vertical symmetry so vertical plane of symmetry okay n number of vertical plane of symmetry these two operations will be there so keep this in your mind very clearly in the same way cnh means cn will be there plus uh, horizontal plane of symmetry and improper axis symmetry and uh, sn means how many number of uh, axial rotation is there in the same number it will be pro produces everywhere wherever the n is there may have to represent it okay see here this is the c2 axial symmetry c2 v okay in this c2 means 180 rotation okay 180 axial rotation and it will give the same symmetry and the sigma v means vertical plane of symmetry this is the one vertical plane of symmetry and this is another vertical plane of symmetry so two vertical plane of symmetry <coughs> one <coughs> so c2 how to write it for this <coughs> c2 and n is 2 2 sigma v okay 2 sigma v and for the another one in the same way c3 v c3 is there okay <coughs> how many c3 axes are there one 2 and 3. 3 C3 axes are there. Okay. In that sigma V also 3 sigma V. So 3 sigma V. See here. <coughs> I already explained this one and some of the examples. All the compound is having identity C2 2 sigma V and some of the examples and E 2 C3 and 3 sigma V and some of the examples. Okay. And in the same way, C4, V, E, 3, Sigma, 4, sorry, 3, C4, and 4, Sigma, V, and some of the examples. This is CNH molecule. And this CNH molecule, I already said, the H is the horizontal plane of symmetry, and the CN is the axial rotation. Axial rotation is about, this is C2 axial rotation. C2 I have mentioned over here, C2 axial rotation and Sigma hydrogen plane. Uh, one is cn rotation axis will be there and then perpendicular to that this is uh, axial rotation with that perpendicular to that what is there uh, sigma hydrogen is there sigma h is there sigma h means higher uh, higher horizontal plane of symmetry will be there which is perpendicular to the axial rotation perpendicular to the axial rotation horizontal plane of symmetry is there means with that gives rise to the cnh group you keep it uh, you keep it in your mind very clearly okay with that improper axial symmetry is also present okay <coughs> c2h contains that is e c2 e c2 sigma h and whatever the mention if 2 means here also we have to mention as improper axis also 2 it shows this here which is equivalent to i i means center of inversion is also present okay some of the examples i have included here this example only i have shown in the uh, figure Second one, C3H, here also E is there, 2C3 and sigma H, 2S3. So whatever C3 is there, C3 as it is, we have to retain. Sigma H, sigma H and whatever 3 is there, that becomes S3. Okay, 2C3 is there, 2 sigma there. Wherever the C3 axis will be there, you know, that will be 2 times the C3 will come. Okay, 
here also if you check two times the c3 axis is there hmm? axial rotation will be there <clears throat> and some of the examples d and d in this d and d point group what are all the operations are there cn operation that is axial rotation plus n number of c2 i already said dihedral d if d comes means uh, principal axis with that right angles to that what is that c2 axial axis uh, axial rotation will also be there okay axis will be there plus dihedral planes will be there <coughs> with the dihedral planes will be there i'll show you the fin i'll show you very clearly in the figure this is c3 axis okay this is c3 axis and this is the uh, sigma v plane okay <coughs> sigma v plane <coughs> <clears throat> and this compound <clears throat> this compound is a staggered form of ethane compound okay this is a staggered form of ethane with that c2 axis is there here one c2 axis here one c2 axis and here one c2 axis so here it will come so, okay three c2 axis will be there and here five c2 axis will be there <clears throat> here n is three means here also three here n is five means here also five c2 axis will be there okay if you have n is 2 here c2 <coughs> sorry d2 here n is 2 okay so c2 axis is there and n number of n number of c2 okay <coughs> and the next one is here n is 3 uh, c3 is there and 3 c2 is there 3 3 3 number of c2 axis also there with that sigma d plane will also be there okay and here also check here 5 is the n is the 5 so c5 is a rotational axis with that 5 number of c2 axis will be there 5 number of sigma d will be there okay 5 number of c2 axis 5 number of sigma d so the, these three you have to keep it in your mind very clearly i'll write it over here so that uh, what are all the things you need to keep it uh, just keep it in your mind hmm? <coughs> these three you need to keep it in your mind one is cn plus n c2 plus n sigma d this is the operations which undergone for the dihedral dnh and the next dn d this is dnh in the dnh the same everything cn plus n c2 for sigma hydrogen sigma h will be the horizontal plane of symmetry wave and improper axis are there okay see this is the principal axis and which is right angles to that c2 axis will be there then only it will be d otherwise it's a c uh, right angles to that c2 axis will be there 3 c2 axis will be there sorry 4 c2 axis will be there and then horizontal plane of symmetry is there horizontal this is the horizontal plane of symmetry this is the vertical plane this is horizontal plane here sigma h is there okay d n h h means horizontal plane of symmetry so all the symmetry operations I have included for each one. D2 means it becomes 2 everywhere wherever n is there it becomes 2. Wherever uh, uh, 3 means wherever n is there 3. This is H not uh, N. Okay. I will make it this is H not N. <coughs> not N. Okay. Uh, D3H this is D4H this is 5H wherever n comes in. This is horizontal plane of symmetry if it comes like this this is a vertical plane of symmetry this is a c2 axis okay how many four is there uh, how many axes is there that many uh, number of fold uh, c2 axis will be there okay and some of the examples also i have included for everything and very important tricks which you need to keep it in your mind and which you need to uh, uh, note it uh, down is structure if the structure is very clear about the structure, you can easily say the point group. See here, the first compo, first structure is for D2H. And for the second structure is a, tri, a triangular planar. Okay. This triangular planar is for D3H. In this triangular planar, if two bond is there in a symmetrical way, okay, without disturbing the uh, uh, basic structure, okay, if two ligands are uh, enlarged, okay, two ligands are enhanced, what is there here? This is also D3H only. If the two ligands are the same or different, whatever it is, all these three are having D3H point group only. Okay, Tri triangular planar, okay, triangular planar with 
uh, two ligands with the same symmetry. Okay, whether it is the same or different. All these three are having D3H symmetry only. This is triangular bipyramidal. This is also triangular bipyramidal only. Here, <clears throat> this is an uh, this is like an octahedral complex, but here it is a lone pair of electrons. So it's the square planar. This is square planar is D4H. This is a square planar D4H, and this is pentagonal bipyramidal. Five is there. Okay, pentagonal bipyramidal. Pentagonal 5 is there means D4 uh, 5H. Okay, if it is 4 is there means D4H. Four ligands are there, then uh, D4H. 5 is there means D5H. Pentagonal bipyramidal. And these ligands are not there. If two lone pairs are there, then it is a pentagonal. A pentagonal also D5H. And high symmetrical molecules. These four are high symmetry. These five are uh, high symmetrical molecules. And the first two are linear molecules. Okay, if it is a symmetric or asymmetric, according to we have to differentiate. This is the asymmetric molecule. C infinitive B is the asymmetric molecules, and another other one is symmetric molecules. Mm, I'll write it over here. This is asymmetric. Asymmetric. See here, this is hydrogen. So this is iodine and this is hydrogen. Okay, smaller in size. So this is different in size, different element. So this is asymmetric. This is an example. And <clears throat> CO, CO and HCN all are as a asymmetric molecules. Okay, if asymmetric means that is C infinity V and these are all the operations are there. That is infinity times we can rotate this molecule. We will get the uh, same uh, symmetry only. And infinity times we will have a vertical plane of symmetry. And the same way, d infinity h, d infinity h is also infinity times we can rotate it, we get the same symmetry. And c2 also, c2 axis of symmetry is there. That is also we can rotate in a. This is a c2 axis is there means that is also we can rotate in infinite times. We will get the same symmetry. And infinite times we can get the vertical plane of symmetry. Vertical plane of symmetry is there for both. Okay, vertical plane of symmetry for a linear molecule it will be there always. Okay, <clears throat> and here uh, the symmetric molecule we have a horizontal plane is also and center of inversion both will be there horizontal plane and the center of inversion this is a symmetry molecule wherever symmetry is there the center of inversion will also be there symmetry is there means center of inversion will be there okay symmetry molecules here both the sides are same this is also same this is also same so the dipole moment is zero for this okay the symmetry molecule means what is that Dipole moment is zero. These are all the important points you should know. Some of the examples I have mentioned over here. And this is the tetrahedral compound. Okay, tetrahedral we can include as a TD. Okay, these are all the examples for the tetrahedral compound. And how many number of symmetry operations for the tetrahedral? Tetrahedral for this is 24 operations are there, and for the octahedral 48 operations are there, and for the cosohedral 120 operations are there some of the examples is also mentioned over here these are the examples is very easy those who are already having some egg, uh, idea it will be easy for you if you don't have any idea it's very difficult for me means you just watch my second part two from the basic within a few seconds you can able to solve the point groups okay that is the second trick that is also mentioned over here in this more uh, what is that more examples more ideas, more important points have included in this video. And <clears throat> this is the C infinitive. This is the linear molecules. This is asymmetry. This is symmetry linear molecules. D infinity H. And this is a water molecule. And this is a uh, ammonia molecule. Okay, here uh, pyramidal. Okay, triangular pyramidal. And this is a uh, trigonal planar. Okay. And this is. Uh, Trigonal bipyramidal D3H, okay. D3H is trigonal bipyramidal, and here the one lone pair of electron is there means it become a CESA model, okay. It becomes CESA model C2V, <clears throat> and this is a square planar D4H, and there is a tetrahedral model, so TD this octahedral model. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and uh, and click the like button and subscribe my channel and click the like button. Thanks for watching.